In this video, I'd like to look at a data set and go through the procedure of assessing normality. Remember, if we want to use the central limit theorem, if we're taking a, a sample or we have a study and we want to use our sample to make conclusions about that population, we need to make sure that we're meeting one of the two requirements for the central limit theorem. The first being that our sample size is greater than 30, and if it's not, then we need to make sure that our sample is coming from a population that's normally distributed. I'm looking at the data set bears, which is from the Minitab. This is a sample data set that came with Minitab. And if you notice, we're looking at this data set, and the data set actually has multiple values, more than 30. So we could use this data well, quite, quite well, actually, to look at the entire population of bears of where these bears came from. However, we're still going to go through the steps of practicing uh, making graphs and assessing normality. So if you look at this, we have the ID of the bear, the age, the month, the sex, one or two for male or female, and we also have the head length, width, and girth. Uh, we have the neck girth, length, chest girth, weight, uh, lots of things. We have the name as well. So what I first want to do is to look at the weight of the bears and determine whether or not that that's coming from is the weight of the bears normally distributed. We've already gone through making histograms, but that's going to be the first step. Let's make a histogram, and we want to make a histogram for the weight, and hit compute. Looking at this histogram for the weight, it looks like this is skewed to the right. So right now, I would not say I feel comfortable saying it is normally distributed. Obviously, this is not a, a bell-shaped curve. Let's just put this over here to the left and create a QQ plot. This is the normality plot. So under graph, QQ plot, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to create a QQ plot for weight and hit compute. Remember the QQ plot. This is giving us a line. We want the data values to follow and resemble a, a normal line. A, I shouldn't say a normal line. A relatively straight line and not have any other pattern. This is a pattern that we do not want. This looks almost like an S, right? We want this to be in a line and not curved at all. It could have a little bit of curve if it's a random curve, but this is definitely going in a pattern. So I think we can make the conclusion here that this weight is not from a normally, we wouldn't call the weight normally distributed in terms of the population. Let's look at another variable using this same data set. Instead of looking at the weight, let's look at, let's say, the head length. So let's look at the head length. If I were to make a histogram, usually we start with the histogram because that's what we are familiar with. That looks pretty good. This looks relatively bell-shaped. I mean, we have a little bit of dip here, but that's not so bad. It looks relatively bell-shaped. Let's see. If I, if I were to stop here, I would say, yeah, that looks like it's relatively normal. Let's look at the QQ plot for head length. Okay, so you can see that the pattern is going up in a straight line. However, you may notice there's this step feature here. We don't want that. We don't want a step feature. We don't want a step function like that. So we would say this is a pattern. A step function is a pattern that we do not want. So although the bell shape looks good, this is not so good. It's following in a bell, excuse me, a step function. This is kind of leading us to believe that maybe that this is a discrete set or we're looking at values where we're going up by or a particular increment. Let's look at one more. Instead of looking at the weight, let's not look at the head length, let's look at the overall length of the bears. So if we go to, again, creating the histogram, let's create a histogram for length of the bears. Okay, that looks pretty good. That looks Although it's maybe a little bit more here to the right of 60, that's relatively bell-shaped. Let's create the QQ plot for length. Okay, that looks pretty good too. I mean, there's a little bit of curvature. We have maybe one outlier down here. There may be one or two. But relatively speaking, that's going up in a, a straight line. The bell here, we have a bell-shaped curve, relatively bell-shaped. I think we could, and it depends on the types of conclusions we're looking to make, but I would say that going forward, we could say that it passed this normality test. 
Although some histograms look good and some QQ plots look good, we really want to put them together and, and use them as one. What is the histogram and what is the QQ plot saying? Depending on the sample size, in this case our sample size is much larger than 30, so we would feel comfortable moving on. But we want to make sure that we're either we're meeting one of those two requirements for the central limit theorem.